Hi there. Thanks for volunteering to help with the Copper Stream website. Um, to get things started, um, you'll find yourself on the website updates page. Um, that's part of the Google Docs um, system. So we'll grant you access to that and you come in and you'll see the dog's name in column A, what needs to be updated in column B, and then just so that we're not duplicating efforts, we mark if something's been completed in C, and if there are additional notes and links, we put them in D. So let's say you find something here, you go to the bottom of the list, and let's say there was something here that needed to be updated. You would go to weebly.com. Weebly is our website host. And it's a WYSIWYG editor, meaning what you see is what you get. And I'm logged in now, but we'll of course give you the logged in info. Um, when you're ready, you go to edit site. Click in and you'll land on our homepage once it loads. So Weebly can be slow at times, so um, you know, best to have some good music on or maybe a favorite TV show. So the home page is loading. Um, all of these things are clickable. Um, so, you know, editing the image, this box, the color of that box, that image, etc. So um, as a website updater, you'll probably just be on three main pages. You'll be on the puppies page, the over six months page, and then the recent adoptions page. So let's get started. Let's say there is a puppy that um, had bio information or maybe a new photo that we wanted to um, upload. Um, so I would go to that page, the puppies page, just as if you were navigating any other site. And so here, I mean, goodness, so much cuteness. Um, here are the puppies as they are now. Um, so let's say if you wanted to update Katie's bio, named after Katie Ledecky, the Olympian. Um, so you can click to open that accordion up. Um, oh, so there's already an error. So if you want to go in and edit, you just essentially click in and say, uh, make some edits. Let's say all oh, that looks good. You can just click away. You can close the accordion. And when you're ready to make that change, let's say that was the only thing you had to do, you just go up and press um, publish to make it live. Now, within the text editor, you can do all of these basic things up here. If for some reason the color of the text wasn't matching when you copied and pasted it over, you just do the remove formatting um, button over here and that'll bring it all back to the same grayscale. Um, when a dog is noted as adopted, right now we're just doing a, um, an annotation here. Ideally because these accordions are really um, time consuming to put up in terms of like um, Weebly site loading, we are just want to keep them in place. So ideally we're able to, when a dog is adopted, um, we would move them over to the success page and then let's say if there was a new puppy under six months old we wanted to put up on the site, we would put that in Jessica's spot and that would be when we move her over so that we're not having to repeatedly make these entities and delete them and then make them again. That would just be too time consuming for you guys. Um, Yes, let's see, what else do we want to say on this page? So let's say we wanted to change a photo. Like, let's say we had a better photo of waffles. I don't know if we do. You'd be given links to um, Flickr um, in the website updates page. So you can see here, Tali, Carrie, Ryan, they all got new Flickr albums. Um, but let's say you got that link and you went to Flickr. And you'd be signed in, so you would see the copper's dream view of it, and you would know because of um, the little orange icon on the top. Sometimes I'll just go to photo stream to see if there's new photos and good stuff. I mean, oh goodness. So much cuteness. Um, there isn't a new photo of... Oh, these are some of our Belize dogs coming in. Oh, breaks my heart. Um... 
So let's say we wanted to change, I think this is Ryan. Let's see, it'll say. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it'll say what album the dog's in right there. Um, yeah, let's say we wanted to change Ryan's photo. Um, all of our photos are squares. So, and we try not to have them be too high of megabytes. So depending on your screen resolution, um, there are a couple of different ways to do this. You can either do um, command, um, command shift four in order to um, make a square right here. And if you have a Mac, I don't know if this does the same on PCs, I'm able to, in that corner, I can see the count to make sure it's a square. Um, this tends to be sometimes a little too high megabytes. We try to keep our photos um, on the page, each one under 400 um, kilobytes, just because uh, otherwise it starts to slow down the page and we don't want people to have poor loading time. So it's up to you. You can, um, if resizing photos isn't something you're comfortable with, reach out to us and um, I can give you a couple of uh, tips on other ways to do this. So let's say we wanted to change Ryan's photo. We would go back. There's that cute nugget. Um, we click on the photo. We choose replace image. Now if we wanted to change the link, like let's say we were uploading a new dog and we had a Flickr album to add, you just click link and you would put it here and make sure open new window was selected. So if I want to change Ryan's photo again, I click, I do replace image, and I upload it from my computer. And as a screenshot, it's, um, where is it? You can tell I have our dogs on here. Um, so that was the one we did this morning. So it's only 285 kilobytes, so that's fine. We want it to be nice enough resolution that um, they look good on the screen. Get these puppies adopted. Okay. So that's loading, as it says over here. So once his new photo is up, um, our accordions are now the width of the column, so we're trying to pull out the images to the far side, and if they're all squares, they should line up um, nicely. Okay, so I did that. I want to make sure that change is published. So I press publish. Last thing I want to show you is when it's time for uh, moving a dog over. So there's a couple dogs I saved from last night uh, that I didn't have a chance to put on the success page to make room for new arrivals. So like there was a dog here. Um, and I needed that spot for waffles. And since it had been adopted, it, I could move it over to the um, success page. So you go to recent adoptions. Oh, that's loading. Let me get my email up. Um, so Artie, for instance, had been adopted. Yay, Artie came to the came to rescue with an injured leg. Glad he's all better. So this is, I, I do a little less formally. I just try to get as low resolution as possible because that page is really slowing down. Um, and I grab the bio. And then we head over to Weebly. See, it's still thinking. That page is, you know, we're at over 400 adoptions so far this year. So it takes a little while to load. Um, now you can see all the adorable adorable pups that have found their forever homes thanks to volunteers like you dedicating their time. So um, one of these is consists of two pieces. One is text and the other is an image. So you, you can move either over first, but essentially they get embedded together. I'll tell you what I mean once this loads. So this is where, again, you want to have a um, some good music on or um, you know, a dog at your feet or a good movie or TV show on because as the year has worn on and um, maybe folks haven't make, been making these images small enough, this page load time is a little, uh, a little daunting. So that's something that we're working on addressing. But in the meantime, um, some patience is great. So the nice thing is you can always click away <laughs> um, and get yourself ready for your next thing. 
Um, you can also look at Dogs by Albums. There they are. Sometimes it's slower than others. Okay, so there I get the text field to put Artie's info into. And then I'm gonna drag the image over just in here and it'll align to the left, just like that. So we want this to be a container, just the way this is. See how those are contained within each other. So the thing you'll do after that pops up and we load Artie's photos, you'll wanna change these numbers. So every dog you move over to this page, you go up by one in the adoptions in whatever year that is. Um, and then you also add one for the overall adoption rate. So this is since our founding in 2009. And uh, this is for just the year. Uh, this is probably my favorite part of editing the website because you really, um, you're right there with the counter on the impact that we're making. Um, all right. You can't hear this, but my computer is working a little hard because of Weebly. It would probably help if I got rid of all of these tabs. What can I say? Okay. Nope. That's Sam Elliott. That's Lulu. Cooper. Tally. Waffles. Sapphire. There's Artie. Okay. So it usually lands big, and you've got to size it small because we're really, again, we're trying to keep the the page low, time low. If you have other suggestions on how to make this page time go faster, of course we're like more than open to hearing that. Um, so 421. The rest of the pages don't do this. And I think that's because after 400 items on this page, it's just in a little too much. So now we go from 613 to 614. Hooray. Publish. And that's it. Um, if there are for some reason new adoption events that you need to edit or add to the home page, those can be found all under um, the adoption event schedule on the adoption event page. So here's, and you can always grab and pull. So let's say if this adoption event wasn't up yet, I can even just copy and paste from here, go to the home page, And it's already there, but you can imagine I could add it there. Um, yeah, so those are the basics of updating the website. Uh, we can't thank you enough for volunteering your time. Um, hopefully this is something you can enjoy from the comfort of your couch and know that you're making a difference. Uh, the website gets a ton of traffic. So, I mean, thousands of page views, thousands and thousands a week. Um, so it's really, you know, one of our most effective marketing tools at getting these dogs um, attention uh, to help them get adopted. So. Uh, your volunteer time, although you may not be handling a dog themselves, you are handling their PR, and um, that's huge. So thank you again for volunteering your time. If you have any questions whatsoever, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. Take care.